What's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Today I'm joined by Martin the Bait Master. Martin, what's up, man? Welcome back to the channel. How you doing? I'm doing well. What's up, Ash? How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. You are currently 500 even inside the world. And of course, you're coming on to share your favorite bait deck. You guys can see it on the screen right now. A lot of you guys in the comments have been asking me about bait right now in general. And this is your favorite bait deck right now, more. And it has NATO, Rocket, and the Prince in it as well as the Dark Goblin. I like this. It's kind of like a blend of the new school and the old school. Tell us a little bit about why you like this deck and how you're playing it. Um, I actually used a pretty similar deck in CL, but uh, instead of a uh, Prince, I used Cannon Cut because it was really OP at this time. And instead of Dark Goblin, I used um, Spear Gobs. Okay. And I, the meta was really hard for bait. And so I watched like all videos from other YouTubers and for me. And then I found this deck because I decided to put instead of um, Cannon Cut Prince because can, uh, Prince is really strong right now um, in general. And, a lot of players are playing Splash Yard, so Print is a pretty good counter against Ice Wizard and Bowler in general. Mm -hmm. And Guard Dart Goblin, you need to play it because e Graveyard is everywhere. Yeah, and that's, then, like, that's true. Yeah. Oh, sorry, go on. Then, yeah, I really like NATO in general. You can, like, a Princess NATO is such a good combi against Golem, for example. And then, yeah, like, Rocket to finish the tower. Yeah, then had the, the normal Lockbit. Awesome, cast, man. Like, Goblin, Goblin Gang and Goblin Bowl. Yeah, it seems pretty like self-explanatory, but we'll talk about more strategy details as we tend to do inside the matches. You want to go ahead and hop into a uh, ladder match? Yeah, sure. Sweet. All right, here we go, okay. guys. Just in case there's a lot of downtown, I might be editing out in between these matches, guys. Just a heads up, and it looks like we'll probably do that uh, right yeah. here. So be right back. All right, guys, here we go. We found a match here going against YouTube Smart Life CR. Shout out to you if you're a YouTuber. Kind, I think sir. Yeah. I think he's playing Royal well, Giant Free Musketeers. I think he's playing Mistake oftentimes. But he okay. It How do you feel about that matchup? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. It's Royal not Giant like, it's not, Free Musketeers. Yeah. I'm not sure if he plays still, but like six months ago, he played this every time and died and was pretty high with it. Okay. Well, let me ask you. There it is, man. Right on cue. Right on yeah. cue, and he goes aggressive. Zap, minions, and Royal Giant all play together. You're going to get a nice NATO there. Unfortunately, not able to protect that Dark Goblin, though, but you don't take too yeah. much. Only one hit. Okay, okay, so before we get too far ahead of ourselves into these matches, uh, what would you say is like the most important thing that you need to realize about this deck compared to regular bait decks? Like, either it's a difference or just like the most important fundamental key. Oh, yeah, this. Um... <laughs> Concentrate on this guy because he's because he's uh, coming yeah. at you fierce. That was good defense though. Like for sure it's different because you have the prince and oftentimes if the opponent plays like a sparkle or something, prince and goblin is such an aggressive combi. And even sometimes I play the prince. Oh my goodness. Um, at the bridge alone, like sometimes he plays a giant in the back, and I know he has like only mega minion cycle. Then I play like a prince at the in the, at the bridge to. Uh, create pressure. Yeah, it's like the prince is like the important card okay. in the deck. So the prince it's is the and, card to really know yeah. how to play, and we'll pay attention to how yeah. you use the prince. And I noticed yeah. that you you haven't used the prince yet, even though you could have in those yeah. situations. But you'd rather just defend smartly yeah. with your. Uh, Oftentimes, I play the prince um, pretty late, and then create a counter push and double elixir time. Okay. So you will be playing your your prince either for situations where you're obviously yeah. going to need him or in the back to build a push. Yeah. So now I want to protect my... Oh, what is he doing? Dude, this guy's super aggressive, man. Yeah. yeah. And the Dark Omen is pretty, like, he <laughs> against... Yeah. Good graveyard, but he is fine, but still, you can play it against every deck because I think Dark Omen is pretty strong right now. Well, I'll tell you what, this guy's so aggressive, but yet you haven't yeah. been able to connect for a lot of damage, but yeah. we're finally in double elixir time, so here we go. Good work for him. Yeah. He's playing a pretty interesting deck. Right? Cool. I will lock this. I think we both have a solid defense against each other. Yeah, right. You're really good at having that NATO ready really quickly. To catch three Musketeers, is it just yeah. a matter of being fast? 
Yeah. Oftentimes. Yep. Beautiful NATO again. In the back, in the back, it's different. It's more difficult to pull them together, but no offense, it's no problem. Gotcha. So he's gonna come at you again, aggressive with the Valkyrie. I feel like this guy, he, this guy's giving me the, <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> he's giving me a heart attack first of all, and, and secondly, he's making me feel like you always have the elixir advantage, but yet he, he, he uh, apparently you don't because he keeps playing three musketeers. Yeah. Did you happen to see uh, the Rumham Seth's post about Three Musketeers, Martin? Yeah. Do yeah, you know? I, I don't think you should touch them. Me, me, I'm with you, man. But it seems like we were in the minority because he put out a, a tweet, guys, saying what whoa, should he... Whoa, Oh, interesting. What? Okay, this guy is... I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. Pretty... I mean, maybe he thought he yeah. could catch the Prince too, but obviously it didn't work out for him. Definitely don't want to be rocketing and usually. Tom the tombstones are pretty annoying. Yeah, those tombstones are actually. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell this guy's not afraid to uh, <laughs> to do what his game, to play his game, and not worry yeah. about what other people are doing, right? <laughs> Making yeah. some unorthodox oh. decisions, but plays another Valkyrie at the bridge. Those Valkyries at the bridge have been kind of burning you a little bit here, but still, yeah. you're fine. Uh, next tombstone spam. Ah, uh, but now I think rocket yeah, almost. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, rocket almost. I think I will log. Yeah. yeah, log, and I just need one more goblin bow normally, or one more log. I like how you've what? been very methodical here, just playing defense, nothing too crazy. You've only used one prince, I believe. There's the log. Yeah, there's the log I mean, I'm sorry. The uh, okay, yeah. nice. And yeah. I like how I you kind of good. Yeah, yeah, I like how you ignored that last three musketeer. You didn't even worry about it. Just had your mm -hmm. log. You had plenty of uh, t I had hit points on your towers. So very well played there, Morton. Against kind yeah. of a scary deck. <laughs> but like in this matchups, oftentimes against Royal Giant, you have to play defensive. And like every time you get chip damage with the Goblin Bird or the Princess, and oftentimes I play like five minutes because it's not a. It's oftentimes against some matchups, not a deck where I can rush in and. Go full in. Oftentimes you have to like defend and then offense counter push. Yeah, for sure. All right, we'll hop into the next match. Uh, I noticed it. I, I feel like I say this every time that you're on, but you're now at 1.13 million <laughs> challenge cards won. Yeah, dude. The thing that's... is like, I <laughs> still ahead. I still play grand challenges because I want to uh, get the star tokens on my bait deck. Yeah, look at <laughs> you have over a hundred yeah. grand challenge wins. I think you're the yeah. first person I've ever seen with that badge. Wow, man. <laughs> All right. Are you in a match yet? No, okay. I'm going to go back to admiring I, your profile. I'm searching. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> Dude, do you have any tips for people to get better at Grand Challenges? You seem like the Grand Challenge master. I don't know. Like, <laughs> off, the most Grand Challenge for sure I got with bait, but oftentimes I, like, practice with other decks or I watch, like, sides to see which decks they play, uh, yeah, the pros are playing or try out the best decks most mm -hmm. of the times. Okay, Most good. of the times for practicing. Good advice. Do you usually play them all at the same time, yeah. all your Grand Challenge matches, or sometimes do you break it up? Like, Or how would you recommend people do Grand Challenges? Like, if I would grind a challenge, I would play, like, 12, win, uh, like 12 games, hopefully, mm -hmm. like, in a row. I love how you're so good that you're just like, I'll play 12 games and I'll definitely get the 12th win. <laughs> you're just like, no big deal. Uh, okay. Oh, here oh, we go. Right. We're into a match. No editing needed there. You guys can enjoy those pro tips about uh, Grand Challenges. All right. Master. Okay, he's... Do you know what he's the playing? Master. No. Okay. Ah, I think Mortar or the old Mega Knight deck. Ooh, okay, interesting. So in the beginning here, uh, you know, yeah. we I feel like we've talked about this quite a bit now, oh, all the times we've had you on the channel, but in Mini P.E.K.K.A. too. So starting plays here, are you just Goblin Barrel or just waiting for the opponent and kind of taking it easy? Yeah, most of the times. If I would start with Goblin Barrel off, uh, on the safe spot, on the left side or right side on the arena tower. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> but he has to, he had to use the zap, so it's, it's fine. Yep. Mortar is kind of diff, uh, it's kind of hard because normally you have the knight or the Valkyrie in the deck. You can place it defensive, um, but the problem is with the prince, it's charge, and then like, it's not even distracting anymore for the, yeah, for so the he's, mortar. So it looks like he's playing mortar prince, or maybe it could potentially not even be a mortar deck at all. We'll see. I don't think it's a mortar deck. It's pretty interesting because he has mort, yes, mini packer and prince. 
Yeah, mini Pekka Prince, maybe maybe Mega Knight? I don't know. It's a weird... Who knows what that last card could be? It could be a spell. It could be Mortar. It could be Mega Knight. Could be, could be Miner, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, Miner. But Miner without Poison is kind of weird. I don't know. This is yeah. an interesting deck. But all right, we'll see. You do get that lock on the Princess. You get Bats out of his hand there. Yeah. Now, I think I'm going to ask you this last time, but... What types of situations are you going to be playing a princess at the bridge? What types of decks? Um, like, where I don't need the princess in general. Like, against okay. spam decks, like right now, if I play princess at the bridge, he can punish me pretty easily. But, like, against giant decks, for example, I don't need the princess, like, that. She's not that important in this matchups. Because oftentimes, okay, now I play a princess at the bridge because I want to see. Yeah, because I know he can only can play mini packer, and that's good for me. Yep, and now you have log back in hand yeah. too. Oh, misclick is it? Oh, that goblin is so strong. Right. So it seems like you have this matchup under control. Yeah. I don't know what his last card is, but either way, you're not afraid. Like we just saw there, you're not yeah. afraid to use your NATO on defense mm -hmm. like that. Oh, the rocket. Okay, rocket. Okay. Good rocket by him. I didn't expect it at all. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was a no, good rocket, I guess, but... Yeah, it was a good rocket, but, like, the right toe and the left toe is... Yeah, look at all that amazing. damage you got with that uh, Prince on the on the right, too. It's crazy. As long as you can protect here, you're good. Yeah. You have yeah. rocket ready. Yeah. Making it look easy, as always, Morton. <laughs> ah, GG. Interesting deck by him. Yeah, dude. That was a really weird deck. It was deck. kind of di uh, difficult to deal with Prince and Mini Packer, like, mm -hmm. if both is on the field. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's the check spam. on. Yeah, you're at 3:48 right now. Let's go ahead and edit out, and we'll bring you guys the next match when we're live. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. DD from 703. Not yeah, sure new card. We were just talking about what the new card could be. It looks yeah. like obviously some type of a rider ram thing, you know. <laughs> Uh, another rider win condition-y type card, so I'm looking forward yeah. to it too. It should be hopefully uh, any day now. Who knows, by the time this video goes out, I might have my uh, sneak peek on the card. I don't know. But Snowball, Fireball, Ice Spirit, another kind of interesting starting. Interesting to see Snowball. Yeah, I really like Fireball too. Uh, I think he's playing 2.6 with Snowball. I think Not so true, too. Think... Yep, definitely. So this is going to be interesting. The Battle of the Cycle, Yeah. kind of. Yeah. See, I feel like I would have a real tough time with this matchup if I were you. Yeah, it's not that easy. I, I know <laughs> this opponent. I played a lot of times against him, and he's pretty good. Okay, all right. So this guy's running the Whoa! Whoa! Oh, really good snowball. Beautiful snowball there. Yeah. That's a good play. That team, that just goes to show you. I mean, it's not like it's a crazy pro player or anything, but it goes to show you that Snowball does have uses like that, that you wouldn't be able to get out of Zap, you know? And that's what I mean, like, it's pretty hard to... You cannot cycle me pretty easily. Yeah. But in double leaks the time, it's for sure easier for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, if you, had, if you had an Inferno Tower in this, in this deck, instead of, say, I guess it would be instead of NATO, uh, do you think that just weakens the deck against almost everything? Because even against Golem, I feel like NATO does a good job, as you mentioned. Yeah, I think if you have Inferno instead of NATO, your cycle is pretty expensive. Yeah. And against Hawk, you have, I think it's like, against good Hawk players, you lose almost every game. Yeah, yeah you can't, because you're not, you, yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't want to be using your, you never want to be using your Inferno Tower to counter a Hog guy. Yeah. So, that's a good point there, because I get a lot of questions about the old bait deck as well. So this guy's yeah. super aggressive with his Hog, especially in single laser time. You're into double laser. You managed to mitigate the damage a bit on that left tower, so... But he's just relentless here. Yeah. He's playing really pretty good. Yeah, he is. Seems like he has defense on lockdown there. And then, again, he'll come out with you a hog here. This time you do have NATO in cycle. He's gonna start snowballing you probably every other time. Oh, the musketeer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, okay. I guess with bait decks, and correct me if I'm wrong, but sometimes it can be all about just getting that one connection, you know? Yeah. Nice log. This time it doesn't matter. He's going to snowball anyway, but he won't get a hit. Yeah. So he's going to have to use a fireball again on defense, maybe. 
Yeah, he would. Yeah. Now, is there a way for you to potentially juke out a fireball? Uh, oh, you have to see. Oh, nice. I got a little bit. Beautiful, damage. beautiful, beautiful. And then you block there. The thing is, like, yes, every time it's a negative trade for him to put the fireball on there. Yeah, so, so you're happy with it no matter what, even yeah. if you're not getting damaged. No, yeah, but that could be pretty well. No, no! Nice. You still have to use a ton of elixir defending, but the relentless. This guy is playing. If you guys want a good. Uh, maybe I should get DD yeah. on the channel. This guy seems to really have a. I have a game I like plan. This, I, li I like that he's like putting instead of the lock the snowball and try it out. I like it. Yeah. I think I, I, I'm still a fan of the snowball, but I still think it's not good enough. But I'm scared that they will buff it like Barbo and then it's completely okay. Yeah, that could be a definitely yeah. a possibility. He decides to go opposite lane this time, which is fine by, by you. He fireballs as well, though, but you have NATO back in the cycle. Now he snowballs on defense. All of a sudden, you have a nice uh, little... The Prince? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, my. One more. Yeah, that's what that's what, that's what, we, what I mean. Like, oftentimes, you create such a lot of pressure with the Prince, and then he has to defend double lane. Or both lanes. So, so at this point here... You've got him. All you need is like a little. Well, he's gonna keep fireballing. So, are you gonna? Yeah. Let's talk a little I, bit about ro rocket cycle strategy here. Ooh, no. That was close. Uh, no, I. And now I'm. I think it's a such a big risk to cycle now two rockets. I just would cycle two locks. I think it's enough. Okay. So keep defending. Not using Prince and. Oh, what the fuck? We pretty well played him. Wow. Not using Prince and Tornado at the same defense. Mm -hmm. Because then you can not cycle you and you have nothing like damage besides this. Exactly. Uh, but no, but, but no, now you got it. Yeah. There it is. Man, Pretty really nice well game. played against a good player there. Yeah. Interesting matchup. Yeah. I like the snowball in there too. It felt like it it was a little bit more like, versatile sometimes. Against Hawk, it's pretty important. Like, you have to. Uh, First option, you use the nade on defense or the prince. If you use both, you can push or you can outside you with the hawk and then play hawk and fireball predict on goblin game because you have nothing else and then you get a lot of damage. So you have to be careful with your card cycle. Yeah, what do you think on... You can feel free to search for the next match too. But what yeah. do you think on his part there? Do you think that... What could he have done differently against you? Just out of curiosity, like what should he have done differently? I think the lane switch was a mistake at the end. Okay, that's, yeah, that makes there sense. You got, yeah, there you got a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go against Mateus JFZN. Yeah. I'll give some uh, pancake emote. Let's see, ah, oh, there's oh. the mortar you were looking for. <laughs> no, I have to see. Oh, he, I think he's playing the Prince variation. Oh no, what is this? Ooh, minion horde. Okay. Oh, the Prince. Prince connect to the tower. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I was like, what, 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 Prince? What? Okay. Nice. Nice defense. Okay, so you don't obviously mm. have, like, Fireball or anything for the minion yeah. horde other than... That's the problem. Yeah. Other than the NATO and, and Princess. So how are you going to play this? How are you going to navigate around both Mortar and minion horde? Yeah, for sure. Princess is so important in this match. I have to protect her. Okay. With Goblin Gang. Um, yeah, and Mortar, it's... Like, most of the times I play Prince in the middle, and then I, uh, like, kite them out, and then I play Goblin Gang or Dark Goblin. Okay. But you have to play it there. Because yeah, I have to, to take care of the things. boy Rascal. That'll be good, because he'll still distract for a yeah. bit. He plays Bats. You have Princess yeah. in a nice spot there. You know, um, does he have Lock is the question. We'll see. Oh, nope. <laughs> but, but it's still okay, it's still okay. Yeah, he gets a couple hits there, but... You're still in the damage lead, about 30 in seconds this matchup, left. it's so important to play defensive at the start. Because okay. if you overextend one time, the minion horde, because you have nothing against minion horde. If you play your princess wrong and play like a goblin barrel free elixir, yeah, you can see it. Perfect, and him doing a good job identifying that you don't have princess yeah. in cycle there, but dark goblin coming yeah. up huge for you. I like where he placed the miner there too. It's kind of a sneaky placement yeah. because he knew you couldn't, he gave you the nato, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Knowing yeah, that you was... had it in hand, but then you needed it for the Dark Goblins. So that was actually a good move. I'm not yep. sure if he did it on purpose, but that was a really good move. All right. I think he did. So... 
that's the perfect defense normally. Yep. Dark Goblin right on time there. Yeah, Gonna take care of that. So board. strong. <laughs> it's crazy because I feel like he's yeah. strong too. He opts to fireball just like the last guy. I feel like Dark Goblin's strong too, but you just gotta know. You gotta make sure that you can. You're yeah. able to capture his value. You know, uh, not just throw him away. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Nice defense there. Didn't have to use the NATO even though you had it in hand. Getting a uh, goblin gang connection on the right tower. You go ahead and supplement that with another goblin barrel. He opts to fireball again. Now you have a dark goblin and a princess here. Another princess yep. to back up that princess. I noticed that two matches in a row here, Morton, you're splitting your damage. Uh, yeah. Is that your philosophy? Just keep attacking, 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 switching lanes, yep. whatever? Yep. Gotcha. Okay. What he's doing now? That's the question. Okay, interesting. I have nothing cycled. After that, connect. Or like this. Should be fine. Because now he has no. Nothing in cycle against the left side. And lock. And rocket should be enough. Perfect. Dude, you're so good. <laughs> it was a nice game. In this matchup, for sure, Fireball is better. Like, if you play in your. Uh, trophy range, oftentimes against Mortar or in general, Free Musketeers, you can sub in Fireball. Yeah, sure. Hey, you want to do one more? Yeah. You're at 238 can. right now. Let's see what you get for the next matchup. All right, here we go. Going for the undefeated video. Give my good luck, Royal Ghost <laughs> Emote. See how you do here. So, starting out with the signature Goblin Barrel in the safe spot. He comes in with um, uh, a Hunter and Bandit. You got to think the Three Musketeers pump deck. We'll see. From, from Legend, yes. Yeah. This deck is so good. Now, do you find this one a bit more challenging? Especially because he has Fireball as well, maybe. Yeah. Depending on which version he's playing. I don't want to make too many assumptions, but we'll see. Yeah, for sure, because I have Walker, and it's like in single links at time, it's pretty hard to defend three musketeers without Walker. Mm -hmm. He might three musk. Okay, that was a good princess there. Oh, nice. That's just princess value all day, every day, right there. He does actually get. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah. You opted not to use log there. You just wanted to yeah. save the elixir? Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, yes. Okay, that's that's not easy. Yes, lock, uh, yes, bubble, and zap. And zap, yeah. So that's. So no fireball is the yeah. trade off, but uh, interesting. Not this thinking... matchup is pretty important to play the princess low because if you play it high, he can, he can reach it with the bubble. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, okay, there's the pump. I knew he has nothing in cycle. He had nothing in cycle against it. Are Dark you Goblin. always going to be rocketing pump? Uh, or yes. Okay. Yes. At the start, yes. And at the end, if I see he has like no bubble or zap in cycle, you can punish them. Okay. The and this is going to be a very formulaic defense against three muskies here, guys, because yeah. everything was like kind of a clean slate, if you know what I mean. So princess, same lane as the two muskies. Now he's going to have to block for the princess or just use NATO. That works too. Log down. That takes care of the entire right lane. This princess stays alive, and there's Goblin Gang. Called yeah. it! Perfect defense! <laughs> yeah. That's the problem, though, right? He's always got something. Yeah. But who knows? We're in double elixir time now. He's going to opt to just three musketeer. You're going to NATO them right into the... Uh... Nope. No. But it's okay. You'll still I'm have... I'm not decide... Oh, okay. No, it's going to be challenging. Nice one prince. Must... Yeah. It's still fine, it's still fine. Yes, to use a hunter against the prince with that. It's not that what you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had to use a lot of elixir against that counter yeah. push there. You keep this princess alive again, so you're putting some pressure on. I like this. Putting him in kind of an awkward situation using another unorthodox counter in that bandit. Yep. You got a prince ready to protect for two princesses now. And then he opts to three muskies into two princesses. Definitely not going to be good for him. Yeah. Nice job getting damaged there. I didn't even notice how you got that damage. Did the goblin barrel connect for a bit on the right? I think so. Yeah. Oh. Oof. It just does. Okay, it's a pretty intense game. Yeah, it is. 
I think he will set up the next three musketeers. Probably three musketeers definitely at the river here. That's what he wants to do at least. He's forced to play a hunter instead with a barbed barrel to tank for it. Got a dark goblin coming down. He's got a bandit. He's got a bunch coming down, but the zap's not going to be enough for him. He does get a charge, but he's putting his damage right now, so not the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah, that's good for me. Tornado fast. Ooh. Nato. Okay, log. Oof. Oh no, the musket on the other side. Bandit, yeah. No! Nice. Uh, you well, bet you pretty good at the end. Yeah, hey man, what could you have done differently? That was a tough final push. I felt like you played that yeah. game flawlessly up until that last moment there, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it was so just, maybe, yeah. maybe I should have Rocket Cycle, to be honest. Okay. Maybe I should should have tried. It's It was not an easy matchup for sure, but I, like, oftentimes the Musketeers survive with one HP and... <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was pretty unlucky, but I could have done something better, like... Maybe rocket cycle or not playing that ag aggressive at the end to stack princes up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oftentimes the problem in this matchup is he has bandit. He plays the bandit against my princess, and if I protect my princess, like I waste like my goblin gang free my elixir, and then he can punish me opposite lane with the musketeers and like a battle ram or something. So yeah. you have to be really careful with um, be careful with your elixir in this matchup. But yeah, it. well, it's good advice, and uh, hate to end on a loss, but you tore it up the rest of the video, so it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate, yeah. again, you coming on, Morton. Really, uh, really always a pleasure no to have you on. Yeah. yeah. Any uh, any shout-outs or anything like that before we let you go, man? Mm, not sure. <laughs> All right, well, I will include your your, tw your Twitter and your Twitch and everything like yeah. that, along with your yeah. stats, thanks to StatsRail.com in the show notes below. And, uh, dude, yeah. thanks again, man. Best of luck with uh, with everything. Yeah, you too. Thank you for having me on. No problem. All right, guys, there he is. One of my favorite German pros to have on the channel, the bait master himself, Morton. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. Check out Morton's information in the show notes below. Thank you so much for watching, and a huge shout-out to my YouTube partner, Bren Chong. Check out his information as well. Thank you, and as always, take care, guys.